Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Just because I'm 40 doesn't mean that I should necessarily have to be like, you know, you know, at home or not desirable or not, you know, I don't know, like probably like hopefully the idea is to like look great, like, you know, even at 40, in your 40s, yeah. I think the first time is just the excitement, everybody, ke parathe khao, ghi khao, and dood piyo. Um, and you know, besan ka laddus are coming. But now, I mean, I'm just like, listen, you know what? I've done it before. I know exactly what my body requires. Irina, it's always such a pleasure to have you on Film Companion. And, and congratulations are in order, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you are glowing even more if that was possible. Oh God, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's not me. I think it's just, it's the hormones. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. Otherwise, I'm exhausted already. How, what's your headspace? What are you feeling right now? Uh, I think the headspace is, I think it's just right now, obviously, um, I, I don't know because, you know, everyone's just like so, uh, I think, overwhelmed with the news, my family and us. But obviously, I think we're a little worried because of the times that we're in. Uh, so yeah, let's see. I don't know. I mean, gutsy or not, but like I'm kind of like just, you know, taking each day as it comes. In. That's just the way I'm going to look at it. Um, and try to be as safe as possible, you know. You know, um, I remember with Temur, you were working till weeks before you delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hena? Yeah, yeah. Like practically, like actually like five, six days before he delivered. Also, like I shot an ad. I, I remember you did this interview in which you said, and it was it was so lovely because you said that having a kid is the most normal thing in the world. So why should it affect my work? And this is what I really loved. You said, I'm pregnant. I'm not a corpse. Yeah. <laughs> huh? But and now, but like, I mean, I, I believe that, you know, like I'm not powerless. You know? I mean, Absolutely. I'm not, no, I'm and, and powerless or, you know, ill. Yeah. Yeah. But and obviously. The times we're in, Anupama, is very different now. It you is. Know, I understand that. So, you know, like my parents and Seth and all are worried. But obviously, I want to do as much as like my work is possible. I want to finish my film work also. So, it is a little bit of a, a catch-22, I would say, you know. Like it is because, especially because of this whole, you know, pandemic that we're in. And we don't know actually when it's even going to end and like, you know, if there is going to be a cure, if there is going to be a vaccine. So for that matter, it would be like, okay, are we supposed to be like indoors for like the next five years? So what, when you say finishing up the film work, are you talking about Lal Singh? Is, is that the film that you want to finish? Yeah, yeah, that's on priority because actually uh, before the lockdown, we had like planned the last schedule of the film. So basically I have about, you know, um, 12 to 15 days work left on that movie and then Amir continues to shoot mm. so um, our priority is and um, it's kind enough to you know kind of finish my work off first right now that's what the aim is to do and achieve um, and yeah finish off my you know shoot before you know it gets too late obviously before I'm too huge that's the basic truth <laughs> Yeah, otherwise I'm just like, oh God, now I'm like trying to like monitor also what I'm eating and stuff. I don't want to do like what I did last time. That was like hysterical. What did you do last time? Last time I just like, I think I just like, I kind of like became like huge. I just took myself, you know, for granted and put on 25 kgs, you know, and I don't want to do that. You know, I want to like be healthy and fit. And I think the first time is just the excitement. Everybody, ke parathe khao, ghi khao, and dood piyo. Um, and you know, besan ka laddus are coming. But now, I mean, I'm just like, listen, you know what? I've done it before. I know exactly what my body requires. And you know, like, you know, my doctor's like, listen, you are not eating for two. It's just a myth, you know. Right. He's like, just be healthy and be safe. That's the most important thing, you know. It's that's what we're, I'm basically trying to do. But Karina, from your Instagram handle, it feels like you are really busy. Like I, you're shooting, you're doing brand shoots. You are like doing stuff all the time. Yeah, but you know, like I think people who know me know the fact that like I can't. Like, you know, I love working and the fact that I, I enjoy doing my work and coming back home. And then, you know, I think I can give focus time to Temur and Seth as well, you know, when I work. Um, otherwise, if I'm just going to sit at home and 
you know just be like okay you know what i'm just going to you know go through this pregnancy at home like just sitting at home and watching tv um i've never done that so i don't know what it's like of course i know like you know everyone's like no it's different times and i understand so but i think that with utmost precaution you know one has to kind of you know take the risk yeah yeah that's what i think everyone's doing yeah Absolutely, you're sort of making calculations and and figuring yeah. like you're assessing risks and going forward. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I'm. I want to commit. I want to finish my commitment, and I want to you know work a little bit. But I yeah, I don't want to go to a brunch or a you know social event like of or meet my friends, ten fifteen of them at a party. I don't want to celebrate my birthday. I don't want to go. You know, I would sacrifice Diwali and just you know bring it in with Temur and um, you know um, Saif. I wouldn't like. put my mom at risk so you know i'm trying to balance things out it's a, it's it's a challenging time so we're just trying to balance you know what is important and what's not yeah you know um um speaking of birthday you you're going to turn 40 this month right ah uh-huh, i know <laughs> uh, and you you bit not at all coy about this you you've talked about it in interviews you said i'm very excited to be turning 40 and you know i was watching uh, i was watching you talk and i was just thinking that you've really in a sense redefined what constitutes a desirable a list female actor in the hindi film industry i mean your your 40 this is a notoriously ageist industry you're going to soon be a mother of two and none of it matters as it shouldn't yeah no as it shouldn't I, it shouldn't then just because i'm 40 doesn't mean that i should necessarily have to be like you know you know at home or not desirable or not you know i don't know like probably like hopefully the idea is to like look great like you know even at 40 in your 40s yeah 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 look hot at 40 na i would like it if somebody told me that oh god you're looking amazing you're looking hot so i mean there's nothing wrong tell me do you is it by design karina do you think about this at all uh, that you are breaking norms or is it just how you roll no there's no there's no design at all there's no blueprint plan that okay now this and you know that what i've always wanted to have a family i've always wanted to prioritize that um uh, but at the same time i think it's also about um you know filmmakers you know wanting to like not just cast 20 year old uh, you know actresses i think that directors and producers have been a lot more open now you know their roles for like everyone you know it's not necessary that you know we have to be like you know 20 with a six pack and a mini skirt running around in fact i think most actresses at the young age want to prove themselves as actors now and you know try to do you know different kinds of roles so i think cinema is also kind of changing i'm just lucky also that it's it's a great time i think you know apart from now like the last 6 months but it has been a great time at the movies you know yeah, yeah. and um, 40 or not i think you're as you know old as you look yeah the idea is to keep looking smashing keep feeling good and um, how does age matter or no age is just a number hopefully yeah absolutely i agree couldn't agree more yeah i don't know why and you know i think it's like yeah what is i don't feel any different uh, than what i was that you know what i was of course in my mind and my mental kind of state i feel i've matured a lot more but like physically or anything i don't feel the any difference than what i was when i was like 20 I I think I have a lot more energy also now so it it's not about you know anything else there's no slowing down exactly exactly you know <laughs> this this whole idea that oh you know you're you're sort of uh, that a little bit of you know you're not as driven as before because you're a certain age I I don't think any of that is yeah no I think probably the only thing is that yeah you know because being a mother now and you know having a family and being very conscious about you know having a home and i'm also very uh, a a proud homemaker like i like being wife at home i like um you know hosting chef's friends or traveling with him having dinner parties um that's very much a part of my life you know i mean it it, it is so i i like doing that i like playing the hostess that's me also so that's very much a part of uh who i am so probably in terms of like i don't have uh I, yeah maybe like a 20 year old would be like okay you know you know i can shoot for 22 hours you know i don't have that level of time and commitment 
but yes i have like eight to ten hours which i can solidly do and i can like you know do what i um the best i can but i think that's the best because look at akshay kumar he comes at 7 o'clock he goes home at 2 in the afternoon yeah and he's giving the biggest blockbusters in this country he's the biggest star india has ever ever seen in the last uh, i think 30 years 40 years since mr bachan yeah. yeah 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 i mean like i did good news with him and i like i was just like i can't work with you because you're spoiling me yeah. it's like we're shooting for like literally like 7 hours and like at 3 in the afternoon i'm home to my kid And That's the film amazing. is going to be the biggest blockbuster ever of the year. Yeah, and a great product, you know. So he's very focused in that time. You know, he he's just managed this time management thing unbelievably. I mean, hats off to. I mean, I think to him, I would love just work. I I wish there more Akshay Kumar. Like then we just keep working. Then you know, all of us forty-year-old mothers and you know, all of us actresses would just be like totally in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a few more of akshay <laughs> yeah of course i know and then all of us would be love to work with him also <laughs> karina tell me is it possible though given that it's such a such a competitive space right is it possible to be in a way detached and yet be driven because you you talked in an interview about how from safe you've learned to kind of have more of a balance you know not be chasing the success and the money and the fame all the time but can you is this balance um uh, tough to maintain where you are driven but also detached yeah because you know i i i i've never connected the fact that how um one's personal life is connected to the movies or to my career you know i think it's a very dated thought that filmmakers and directors i think 20 years ago are a relationship mein hai to distracted hai thoda aise hai thoda waise i think these thoughts are like you know i mean like archaic yeah it's really it sounds really weird you know i mean like look at all the hollywood actresses they're all married with children but they still like you know whether it's when it paltro gal gadot all of them i mean they're all you know mothers yeah you know but what is the uh, nobody really talks about their age talks about you know um them being distracted or i don't know what but it's just a mindset over here you know i think that's just um which hopefully i think we're trying to break you know and certain uh filmmakers i think believe in us and do that you know yeah. it's just that they're obviously there you know they there's so much more like open and emancipated they so you know they don't think like this Yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't ever, I've never found the connection, you know, because what I do in the movies, I'll give my hundred percent, and what I do at home is my problem, and no one else's business. So that's, you know, takes up my time, and yeah, it's just about dividing time and time management skills. You know, uh, in a in a recent interview, Saif called you Mrs. Graham because your Instagram <laughs> Instagram game is so on point. Uh, you know, you 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 post the most lovely pictures, and you give us such a it's such a lovely kind of peek into your life. You know, that picture yeah. of of Temur praying with I think it was a Lego Ganesh ji. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> lovely little moments. Tell me, Karina, how do you decide what is private and what is public? You know, for I think for any of us right now, I don't even know in today's time what is private and what is public because you know, I think anyone and everyone has an opinion about you know everybody and people are just I think you know they're just going crazy right now. You know, the world is I think on fire. because of this pandemic or i don't know what it is but you know for me it's always been about you know people just getting a little bit to know me the person you know uh so even when i came on instagram it was just about i said i don't only want to obviously make it about temur and you know saif and obviously i think it will have a nice mix but like you said you know just keeping it as real as possible um not too many ageless filters and beauty plus apps because i can't bear that so it's not going to have pictures of me with fake lashes on and trying to be like really you know glamorous i hate all of that so just a little a little um, bit of realism from me so that my fans and whoever is following me gets to see um a side to me that they don't get to see on screen mm-hmm. you know i mean they get to see this the hot side of me dressed up you know in all these red carpet looks and also i i i don't want to have any of that you know it won't it won't have any of that 
So, but it'll have a little bit of um, things that I like, people I love. And I think that's, that's more than enough for your fans to kind of connect with you. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I think people like that a little bit. It just feels authentic. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's not really thought. I just, you know, whatever I feel like putting out there, I I, I do it. But um, yeah, it'll mostly have things of me that probably nobody would get a chance to see. So that's the whole idea, right? Yeah, yeah. So Seth's also writing uh, his autobiography. Oh, and I, I, I'm petrified for Seth. <laughs> when he told me that, I'm like, Seth. What? Do not be politically incorrect. You have to be like you have to know what to say. No, so I was gonna ask because I saw something where where I think the publisher said it'll be a no holds barred account, and I was like, okay, how do you decide? Because you're all public figures. How how is this gonna work? Yeah, and of course, and Seth anyway has no holds barred. He's just all the time like he's yeah. quite honest, you know. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I think I'm scared for him, and I'm I think I've told him that I am going to edit this book before you to know that what you're going to say but um, yeah I mean I think Sayas had such an amazing journey you know I made this video for him on his uh, 50th birthday I Not saw that before. yeah I actually I could only put two minutes yeah but the entire video was 22 minutes and um when I was putting it together, so I was like oh my god you know there's just not it's not just about films you know it's just about like you know just his whole life you know, flashing in front of you. I thought that, oh my God, it's such, it's, it's been such a brilliant journey that there is so much to say and such fun things to talk about because actually he's been an actor who's not just experienced, um, you know, a life in the movies. He's you know, been you know, to school in England, he stayed in Delhi, then he came to Bombay, a little bit of his struggle, which actually nobody really talks about a struggle in, you know, the early 90s. Yeah. It's, it's you know, it's, People just kind of assume that, okay, fine, he just probably had it easy. But he did, you know, from not actually knowing how to speak Hindi uh, to actually, you know, playing up different roles now that he does, whether it's Omkara or Tanaji. I think that's been, it's been, it's going to be an interesting read, that's for sure. But you're going to be vetting it. I am going to be editing it is what I've told him. I said, listen, you have to tell me everything, (laughs) you know, because I'm like, yeah, I don't know what he's going to say, you know. Listen, he's he's one of my favorite people to interview, so I cannot wait to read it because yeah, he's I'm so sure. articulate and he's so smart. You know, yeah, it, it, it's just yeah. lovely. You know, when you when you uh, posted that that you were pregnant, uh, one of the funniest memes I saw, Karina, was this uh, person dancing frenziedly, and it said uh, the paparazzi when uh-huh. Karina announced that she's pregnant and. You know that they were just so happy that okay, there's another there's another kid coming along, and I was thinking when I saw that I was really thinking, Karina, that you are in a in a very unique perspective in in terms of this whole debate on insider outsider and nepotism because you are of course Bollywood royalty, right? You're a fourth generation actor, mm-hmm. but you're also the mom of one of the most photographed kids in this country. I mean, the, your yeah. son is a national obsession, so you have a front row view on how the same people who lambast nepotism actually feed the fire because we're all consuming his photos, his news. You know, how do you take this? That on the one hand, everybody's like, and of course nepotism is awful. But at the same time, we ourselves encourage it. Yeah, I mean, I think, honestly, I this whole debate, even the, I don't know, even last time, I don't know, uh, I don't know if it was another interview that I did and everyone was like, okay, now she said this on nepotism. So honestly, does it really matter what we feel? It doesn't matter. I don't know why everyone's gone on to this huge discussion. I think everyone gets what they deserve in their life, what is there in their destiny. You know, not that Taimur Ali Khan is going to become the biggest star in this country. He's not. He probably is the most photographed child for whatever reason it is. I have no clue. And no idea. Um, I have always, I will always wish for my son that he be self-sufficient and self-reliant. I'm like, you do what you want in your life. You can be a, a chef somewhere. You want to be a pilot. You want to do whatever. I have never mind. My, I just want him to fly and just be happy in his life. You know, mm-hmm. I. Um, it's and it's really not necessary that because he has successful parents, he's going to be successful. His journey is going to start when he wants to. Yeah. start. He has to find his own path. I mean, his parents are not going to help him out in whatever way. My parents didn't help me out in whatever way. 
yes, I was born to them, but like I was lucky at Karishma because you know I was known as Karishma's sister. But I feel that my struggle was also different. So nobody kind of like you know helped me or said that this is that is. So let him do if he. I don't know if he wants to become. I don't know. He might want to become like an air force pilot. I have no idea, and I I can't help him in that department because I'm clueless about it. So I'll be like, you find yourself how you have to study, what you have to learn. That's his journey, and he has to take on it. Yeah, it, it, that burden is his. It's not my responsibility. So both Seth and me are very clear about that. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, teaching him the right values and. um you know keeping him close right now because that's you know this is his age for him to do that and just you know um teach him what's right and wrong good and bad you know and that's it and then you fly and do what you want so this nepotism and you know ki ye hoga stemu star banega ye hoga are we also do and our struggle is we are also still struggling even now na at at the fact is that we still working we still want to do our thing we still have a drive in us both of us self in me so um nepotism beyond the point it can't go anywhere it can't fly and i think we all have come to terms we all have understood that yeah i mean uh, being a star child might help you i don't know get a a break but I don't know if anything after that, and I, you know, honestly, in today's times, people don't know a lot of uh, people outside the industry assume that okay, if you're a star child or your mother or father were an actor in the '70s or the '80s, it's really easy for them to get a break. Let me tell you, Anupama, you know that it's not true. Also, mm-hmm. I think today the industry is very, very different than even what it was in the '90s or 2000s. It's very different today. Today, I mean, like, I think there are filmmakers who'll be like, no, everyone has to screen test. you know and say that okay this is what it is if you're good you get the part i mean like amir khan screen tested me for lal singh jadda really yeah so i mean why he wanted to screen test he wasn't 100% sure if i would be able to play the part mm-hmm. and i did it i mean at 40 do i could have also said that what do you mean or whatever but i was just yeah. like no of course you know as a producer and a filmmaker you need to know if you know this is the part that i would want to say i i don't think there's anything wrong yeah absolutely so why this whole you and cry about you know i don't know i think obviously it's also the pandemic yeah and theaters not being open <laughs> tell me was is temur excited about a uh, uh, little brother or sister i mean yeah i guess i mean you know he's all, he's obviously like now he's he's going to be four in december you know so he's figured it out and whatever and temur is anyway a very uh, he's he's very ahead of his age you know he kind of like really thinks because we've kept him more uh, we never treated him like that like a kid you know we've kind of treated him always like an equal and an adult so he understands everything and he's very friendly and he um, he's a giving boy so he's i think he's ready you know you said um, karina that over the years you've learned not to sort of listen to the noise uh, and that you're indifferent to it are you are you completely disconnected from all the conversation honestly i am because you know if i have to keep my sanity also you know then um, i can't listen to too much you know i i i don't the idea is that one has to keep working keep looking after your mental and physical health and especially in this time that we're in it's so important to preserve your mental and physical being because of you know what all we've gone through in the last 6 months yeah. you know like people's mental and uh, physical activity has dropped you know because obviously we you know been at home we've been kind of there was no work for so many months So I think there has been a lot of frustration, angst, anger, panic, you know, uh, anxiety. So I I think that the best thing is that you know to just pass through this phase with, you know, just trying to stay afloat and be positive about things, you know, and just search for that silver lining that there is going to be that. You know? And I don't even blame people also too much for, you know, for so much angst because I understand everybody's reacting in like you know. different crazy ways you know but yeah i mean i think being too harsh about things also is it's 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 terrible but i like i said you know i just shut the doors to anything that kind of brings negativity i've always been like that yeah and karina is there any update on takht 
Doctor, I mean, now I have no, I wonder, I don't know what's going to happen, you know. I mean, I hope Karan makes that film someday, you know. Um, I'm sure he you, will. You were very excited about that role. I yeah. remember the last time we met, you were like, "You'll we'll talk about this role for years to come. I remember that. Oh, and it would have been amazing because of, you know, I've never done a period film also. Uh, but yeah, I think it's at the, you know, definitely in the back burner for a bit because obviously, you know, the kind of budgets and it needs that, you know, three, four hundred day shoot. Um, so I think the pandemic has kind of set it back, but I'm sure, you know, he has the script with him. I'm sure he'll pull it out at the right time and it, I'm sure it'll be great. Are you reading scripts right now? I mean, right now, I'm, you know, yeah, like from scripts to um, web shows, everything uh, I am reading because I will do something for sure post summer next year, you know. Uh, the plan is that, you know, to do like how I did with their mood, you know, yeah. I came back pretty fast. Um, so the idea is that, but the, I, the whole thing is that, you know, I've been getting a lot of offers for old, like digital shows and I actually am really keen to do one. Really? And he's like, you don't know, it's really difficult. The kind of performance and acting is very different to what you guys do on screen. And you know, like it's more like, you know, you have to be so much more on the ball. You know, and they've been such great shows, you know, like from Mirzapur to Sacred Games to Delhi yeah. Crime to, you know, Patal Lok. I mean, I think all of them are like so out there, you know, so to pick that right one is going to be very, very difficult. But I'm hoping to do that in 2021 for sure. But something very, really cool. Very exciting. Cannot yeah. wait. Uh, Cannot wait, Karina. Really. It's, it's, you know, it's genuinely, it's, it's lovely to see you push the envelope and continue to do it no matter what. It's it's wonderful. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Anupama. And see you soon now, sometime. Absolutely. Hopefully, you know, as soon as it wraps up. Yes. As soon as, as, soon as we find the vaccine. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll thank know. You. Take care. Thank you. Hi, this is Karina Kapoor Khan. And if you like this video, please subscribe to Film Companion.